Russia is creating a stealth bomber to compete with America's forthcoming B-21. But is the nation really up to the task? The U.S. has decades of experience with stealth technology, yet Russia has yet to produce a single truly stealth aircraft, with the Su-57 being low observable rather than truly stealthy. Even more importantly, just over a dozen Su-57s have been produced compared to the hundreds of American stealth aircraft in service today. The PAC-DA promises to turn the tide on this trend. As proven by the Su-57, Russia has difficulty manufacturing airframes for extremely tight tolerances necessary for real stealth. Tiny gaps in body panels can produce radar returns, and these have been frequently observed on Su-57s. Then there's the Western sanctions. If you can't get the technology imports needed for air defense missiles, you're probably not building a stealth bomber anytime soon. However, the most telling reason why you shouldn't believe the hype is that Russia itself has stated that the PAC-DA will fire very long-range standoff attack munitions, meaning it's not meant to get anywhere near enemy air defenses, making its stealth qualities nearly useless.